Hey guys, today we're going to take another trip down to the tidal zone. And one thing that really stands out as you look out over the ocean here is the beauty and also the strength and chaos that is the tidal zone. We saw a number of these bat stars, which is a great sign. Uh, all of the sea stars have had a hard time in the last decade, so it's always good to see them. And the giant green anemone. These are really beautiful here. We went around and caught a number of little crabs with the boys. And this guy didn't really want to leave. I think he uh, felt the warmth of my hand and he was pretty happy with that for the moment. So I had to sort of guide him back into the seaweed here. To thrive in the tide pools, you really have to be tough, either armored like a crab or able to go with the flow like the seaweed. This is a little rock crab. They have the larger pinchers. These guys are really pretty docile. This is another little rock crab. And they really don't want to pinch you, as you can see. One pinched me a little bit, but it was more of a warning pinch, and that's what I get for messing around with them little hermit crab here another bat star and the by the wind sailor this was a dead gumboot chitin sorry to see it dead this was about eight inches uh they're a very interesting organism they're usually in deeper waters and everything about these tide pools is really beautiful you can see the seaweed here this iridescence is really great, and you can see how this is really a nursery for all of the fish. This is the base of the food chain, your plant source. Uh, it's food for a lot of the inhabitants here. And in the tide pools, you can always see the cycle of life and death, new life hanging on to the remnants of old life. So, had a pretty fun day out there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.